of the MVP Podcast. My name is Dale, and today we're talking about J.J. Redick making Stephen A. Smith look kind of dumb, all right, uh, when he's talking about Nikolai Jokic again. I get you. Here's my counter to that. Jokic isn't known for having some kind of dominant post game now. That's not his game. Hold on a second. It's, Hold it's on not a his second. game. He's not a dominant post. Is he a dominant post player? Hey, Is Jokic Stephen a dominant a. post player? St- Stephen A., we've got 10 years of tracking data. You know what the number one most efficient half-court play is in 10 years across the NBA? What? A Nikola Jokic post. What is it? There you go. Oh. Boom. Boom. Whoa, Boom. Hold on, wait, wait. Talk, 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 talk. JJ. 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Can I, can I respond? Go. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Listen, listen, y'all know what I'm no, saying, man. No listen. More. Nikola Jokic got such a beautiful touch. He reminds me more of a McHale than a Shaq is what I'm trying. You understand the difference that I'm saying? Y'all yeah, know the see- game now. You understand what I'm saying? No, I mean, I mean, McHale was something special, 10 feet and in, and I get it. But I'm just talking about drop step dominant. I, I, I mean, I when you look at Shaq, that was another level. I wrote it I'm down. Not trying no to say post-up that, game. That, no, Nikola Jokic beat you a multitude right. of ways no because his post- touch is, is just – Next game. Game. So I'm going to do that. No post game. Okay, so we've seen um, Stephen A. Smith, all right, um, leave Nikolai Jokic off of his list of the top five Supermax players. We've seen Stephen A. Smith call Nikolai Jokic um, a fat tub of lard. And now we see Stephen A. Smith talk bad about uh, Jokic's post-up game. All right, so um, he definitely has an agenda here. All right, and I'm glad that um, J.J. Reddick called it out, okay, and nipped it in the bud and made him look kind of foolish, all right, quoting um, stats, all right, facts. So he really had to clarify himself, all right, because I'm sure he's used to not clarifying himself and just spitting out um, some verbiage, you know, that doesn't make any sense, but people just buy it because he's Stephen A. Smith, all right? So I'm glad that J.J. Reddick here was able to call him out and Jay Williams was there also to witness it and back up J.J. Redick. All right, so um, Stephen A. had to really clarify that he meant um, a dominating, like a bruising post-up game instead of just an efficient post-up game because that's what Nikolai Jokic has. All right, it's almost it's a nearly unstoppable post-up game. Okay, and you can't take anything away from it. I mean, he's, well, he's two games away now from becoming... Uh, you know, an NBA champion and a finals MVP. All right. So it's about time that Stephen A. Smith, you know, gives him respect, puts some respect on his name, gives him some credit and stops disrespecting him. All right. So this, does, this doesn't make sense to me, you know. Um, he already has two final. He already has two MVPs. I mean, what more does he have to do? All right. I guess once you're able to win a championship, get a finals MVP, I think that changes everything. You become a made man. That changes everything. Um, hopefully, we'll see what happens. Um, how Stephen A. Smith talks about Jokic after he wins a title, or if he wins a title. All right, we'll see shortly in a few more days. All right, we'll see if he changes his tone about um, Jokic. But in this case, he was caught, and he had nothing really to say. He had to change his statement, and uh, that's about it. So watch the next video because it's a pretty good one. Until next time.